welcome back to my sewing room. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little box bottom drawstring bag. I made this and designed it so that it would fit perfectly the little memory game that I made in my last video a few weeks ago. I'll link the tutorial for this video if you want to learn how to make this, this um, fabric memory game. It's adorable and I made the bag to match it and this holds it perfectly makes a great little gift. Isn't that cute? And this is the one I made my granddaughter. And it holds her memory game that I made her that matches this bag. And here's the bag lined and it has a nice professional finish. You can make these any size, but I'm going to give you the exact measurements of how to make this size so it'll hold your memory game or a small gift. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, you're going to cut two of your main fabric, eight inches by eight inches, and two of your lining fabric, eight inches by eight inches. Put them right sides together, and then I'm going to cut out little notches on the bottom to create that box bottom of the bag. So I'm going to take a ruler, and I'm going to do a, a one and a half inch square, and I'm going to draw one and a half inch by one and a half inch. I'm using my friction pen because I can draw this and it will erase with heat with my iron. So I'm going to trace this on the bottom and I'll be cutting out both pieces at the same time to save time. Here's one and a half inch and one and a half inch. Like that and I've already drawn the one on this one already one and a half inch on this one it's hard to see because of the pattern but now take your scissors and cut on that line now I'm cutting through both pieces of the lining and both pieces of the main fabric There we go. Okay, now take your main fabric and remember you got two pieces here, right sides together and turn it sideways here so we can make it easier. And we're gonna take a ruler and I'm gonna mark three quarters of an inch down from the top. And I'm gonna take my friction pin and I'm gonna draw a line. Okay. And then I'm going to take and do another line from this line, three quarters of an inch down from this line. Okay, so the space between here and here is three quarters of an inch and between here and here is three quarters of an inch. And now we're going to pin this with my pins like this because we're not going to sew in between these two lines. We're not going to sew. We're going to leave that open. So I'm going to mark it to remember not to sew between these two pins. But we are going to sew, we're going to sew right here, skip this, sew here, stop, come over here and sew all the way across and then all the way up here and stop. Do not sew here, but we are going to sew here. So I'm just going to put some pins in this. But don't worry, I'll take you to the sewing machine with me to show you how I sewed this up. Next, we're going to pin the lining. So we've got our main fabric pinned. And now we're going to come over here to our lining. And with our lining, we're, we're going to leave an opening down here at the bottom. So I'm going to put my pins going this way to remind me to not sew between these two pins going sideways. So leave this open. We're going to sew here. And we're going to sew all the way up here. Put some pins in. Okay, let's go over to the sewing machine and I'll show you exactly how to sew these up. Okay, to get started, we're going to do a quarter inch seam allowance. So we're just going to sew this first part first. So I'm going to just remove this needle. I know I'm not sewing here. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch to start. Back stitch. I'm going to do 
a back stitch here to end. I'm going to clip these threads. And make sure you pull this back out so it's not too short and it unthreads your needle for you. Pull that back out. Now we're skipping this part and we're going to start here with our quarter inch seam allowance right on that line. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch. So all the way down. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch. Clip your threads. Okay, and now we're going to come down here and sew across the bottom. those threads pull them back under your foot and come over here and we're gonna sew up this side okay we're getting close to this I'm gonna remove my needle and now I'm gonna stop on that line now I'm gonna do a back stitch forward and clip those threads and now I'm going to start on this line, skipping that three quarter inch space. Line that line up with my needle right there. Do a fixed stitch. And I'm going to do a back stitch just to make sure. This will get a lot of wear and tear with a drawstring. Do a back stitch. your threads. Now we're going to sew up the lining. Okay, we're just going to sew up the side here of this lining, the same quarter inch seam allowance. Back stitch at the top and at the end. Back stitch. And now we're going to come here to the bottom of the lining and remember we're not sewing between these two needles. I'm going to sew here, stop, and then sew here. Quick stitch. Clip my threads. We stopped sewing right there, and now we're going to skip this space, come over to this needle. Start sewing right here. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch. Okay, and now we're going to sew up this side. Stitch or back stitch. Okay, now let's head back over to the cutting table. Okay, we finished sewing around the main fabric, sewing here, stopping there, and sewing here, sewing all the way across the bottom, sewing up here, leaving a space, and sewing there. And on the lining fabric, we left a space here for turning and sewed here and here and up the sides. And now we're going to take the bottom and we're going to open this up, matching this seam with this seam to sew up those box corners here. And I'm going to put place this seam going to the left and this seam going to the right on the bottom to match those up. And we'll pin this. I'm gonna do the other side. Open up this corner and place this seam to this seam matching those put a pin in that see we've got those matched so that when this is sewn it's going to create that nice box square bottom 
to hold the uh, to hold the memory game. And so this is how the bag will sit eventually like that. Does that make sense? So now we're going to go to the sewing machine and we're going to sew right here and right here with a half inch seam allowance. And we're going to do the same thing with the main fabric. See? Like that. Same thing. That'll create our little bag. Now we'll take this to the sewing machine and we're going to sew up those corners. Okay, we're going to do a half inch seam allowance with my pin, line up my foot, and do a fixed stitch or back stitch and go all the way across and finish with a back stitch or a fixed stitch. Clip your threads. Now do the same thing on your main fabric and meet me back at the cutting table. Okay, we finished sewing the, the box corners on both of these. And now we're gonna turn them right side out. Let's take the main fabric and turn it right side out. See how those nice little box corners are? But right now I wanna lay it flat. We're gonna draw our lines of where our casing is. Put our ruler again. Flatten our main fabric like this. Get our ruler and we're gonna draw a line three quarters of an inch down using our friction pin, because it will erase with an iron later. Like that, and then another one three quarters of an inch from that line. And we're gonna do that on both sides. And you can see this is lining up right where that hole is for our casing. You see that? So now we'll flatten out this side and I'm gonna draw a line three quarters of an inch down. Now three quarters of an inch down from that line. This will make sewing the casing later so much easier. We just gotta follow that line, see? And that way, that's where our casing will be for our drawstring. Right there. I'm gonna finger press this seam right here so that we can see that opening real well. Just finger press that really well on both sides. If you want to use an iron to press this, make sure you iron it first and then draw the lines. Otherwise, the iron will erase your lines. So I'm just going to finger press mine. That will hold it open like that. And now we're going to take our lining. And the, the right side of the lining is on the inside. And the right side of the outer fabric is on the outside. So we're going to place this outer fabric inside of the lining, matching up this side seam with this side seam of the lining like that. Just place that inside. And now we're gonna take this side seam, open up that seam right there, and match it to this seam right there, and open this one up, matching those side seams. Kind of finger press that one with that one and place a pin right there and then go to the other side finger press this open and this one open and match up these two seams and place a pin right there and then kind of pull this to make this line up nice and even. Put a pin right here. And come over here and put a pin over here. Kind of stretch this out so this is taut and even right here to find the middle. 
place a pin right there. And if you need to, you can put a pin here, here, and here, and here, but I think I'm good like that. Okay, now we're gonna go to the sew machine and sew this top edge all the way around. Okay, I'm gonna remove my table from my sewing machine to expose the arm here to make it easier to sew in the round. Now I can just slide this around the arm and it'll make it so much easier to sew. I'm gonna line this up and we're gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, I'm gonna start with a back stitch or a fixed stitch and sew all the way around. threads. Do a fix stitch or a back stitch. And we're done. Okay, we just finished stitching the top edge all the way around. Now we're going to go here to the bottom of the lining where we left that opening and turn it right side out. you left like this. I'm going to take that little hole that's in the lining. We're going to fold it in, match that up, and I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm just going to do a little stitch right here. You can see where I stitched the lining up. And then we just tuck this back inside. Smooth this out with your fingers. Now we're going to go back over to the sewing machine in the round, and we're going to sew we're going to sew on this line and this line all the way around to create our casing. Okay, we're going to slide our bag over the arm of our sewing machine. And I like to start here on the side seam. And we're just going to line up our needle in the middle of our foot so it lines up with that red dot. So then I can line that red dot up with my black line that I've drawn. Going to do a fixed stitch or a back stitch and sew all the way around directly on that line. Put these threads before I finish sewing. Now finish sewing with that line. Do a fixed stitch or a back stitch. And keep our threads there. Now do the same thing on the other line. Start right here, line that up. Do a fixed stitch or back stitch. Do a fixed stitch or back stitch, and we are done. Now let me show you how to put in the drawstring. Okay, we finished stitching on those black lines all the way around. Now we're just gonna take our iron and remove those, those um, lines that we drew. Okay, we're gonna add our drawstrings. You can use ribbon, you can use cording, you can make your own drawstrings out of fabric. But on this one, I'm going to use a shoelace. This shoestring that I cut in half and I took a lighter and just singed the edges so it won't unravel on both sides just cinched it with a lighter and now I'm going to take my threading tool I love this I have this linked in my description box if you need one of these because I love this and you're just going to take and put like that put that in there like that and pull it down so it's tightly in there and then I'm going to take this I'm going to go in one side And come out over there like this make sure this doesn't come through sometimes I'll I'll clip something on it just so it doesn't pull through on me and then 
we're going to keep going. We're not going to stay. I just come out because it's easier to manipulate this by coming out and then going back in and keep going around the other side of the bag like this, like that. And just pull that on through like that and then take it out. Get this other side. Match these up. And do a little knot on the end, like so. Pull that. And we do the same thing for the other side. Take this and push it through like that. And I'm going to put this on the other end to keep it from sliding through on me. And now we're going to go to the opposite end over here. And we're going to go in, come out the other side like that, pull that through, and keep going. Go back in over here to come back to the other side. Pull that through. Bring that on around like that. Take this out. Make sure these are even like that and tie those in a knot. Look at how cute. And now it's the perfect size to hold all these little memory game squares. They fit right in there like that. Isn't that adorable? And I made this one for my granddaughter and hers I use ribbon. Aren't those cute? You can even personalize them by adding their name with your Cricut onto the bag. We're all done. Look at how cute these came out. Aren't they adorable? And they're the perfect size to hold my fabric memory game that I made my grandkids. I'll put a link in my description box if you want to learn how to make this memory game. It's so cute. And I just used up my scraps to make this. So it's a great scrap buster. And they just fit perfectly in here. And you could use this little um, drawstring bag for lots of different ideas, for a gift bag, to hold toys, to hold toiletries, makeup. I love the little box bottom. It's so nice that it stands up. Voila, so cute and fun. Comment below and tell me what you'll use these bags for. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a so blessed day. Bye for now.